Where's Kalfus? Exam room. Is he with a patient? I don't know, but he's been in there for a while. Jason? Oh, hey, beautiful. <laughs> uh, what time is it? I've been waiting for my results. Your results, right. Uh, right. Did you even take my blood work down to the lab? I'm on it. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, late night, late shift, right? I'm just resting. Codeine. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's just, uh, you know, a long night, a long shift. I, just, I was just sleeping. I'll do the blood work myself. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks. <clears throat> Look, if I said or did something wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, but it would be good if I at least knew what it was. Right. Why would you remember you were hopped up on liquid codeine? Wait, what? So no offense, but you shouldn't be treating patients. You should be in rehab. Maggie, what are you talking about? Read Luke 423. Physician, heal thyself. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. I had bronchitis. Okay, I had patients to see. I couldn't stop coughing. And look, I'm not used to taking drugs. It knocked me right out. Why should I believe you? Because I would never jeopardize a patient's safety. And look, hey, cough's gone. Well, the, the bottle was empty. You were passed out. I... I just thought that... I could see why you'd say that, but no, you... You were wrong. Oh, God, I feel like a jerk. Hormones? It's okay. All right? Are we good? Yeah. Okay, I'm come sorry. here. Hey. Hey. So, Jason is going to be our doctor again. Really? That's great. Okay, um, I will see you next week. Don't keep me waiting. I won't. So, that was a big hug. Mm. Let's go home and get drunk on non alcoholic beers. Ooh. Mm. We just opened up, uh, Blur at Brock. There's a huge fava bean out front. Lynn, you're up. Okay. Fava is the most resilient bean. <laughs> Take a deep breath for him, sir, okay? It's known as the meat of the poor. <laughs> ben and his organic food. It's very serious stuff. Just like Sarah and her birth plan. And Sarah's been adamant since the beginning of her pregnancy. To... No C-section, no surgery. This is your first baby? Yes, of what we hope will be many. <laughs> Sarah's one of nine. She's Irish Catholic, and I'm... Jewish. This poor guy gets guilt from both sides. Mm. Dr. Lynn, what do you feel? Uh, cervix is effaced. Dilating. How many centimeters? Seven, close to eight. All right. Well, the fetal heart rate's in the normal range are progressing nicely, but the placenta is partially abutted against the cervical os, which is called, Dr. Lynn? Marginal placenta previa. Very good. Have you ever seen one? No. Okay. Well, imagine you have a very small garage, but you own a motorcycle and a car. Now, as long as the motorcycle's parked at the back of the garage, you can get the car out just fine. Motorcycle's a placenta. Right. But if the motorcycle's parked at the front of the garage, and you try and get the car out... The car's a baby. Right. Then you're gonna smash up your bike. So you're planning on doing a C-section? No, no. Wait, you promised we could do this naturally. I have absolutely no intention of breaking that promise, okay? Dr. Lynn, she's a resident. She's paid to be conservative, but lucky for you, I'm not. So you're going to do this naturally? Absolutely. Ooh, here comes another okay, one. Breathe, oh. breathe, baby. Sounds like it'll be very soon. We'll be back in a bit. Dr. Lynn? Ooh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, Baba! You don't think I can do it? Jason, I wouldn't pretend to know better. It's just, I've, I've read that disturbing the placenta during delivery... Very bad news, yeah. Yeah, the risk of placental ablation, massive bleeding... Increases dramatically, correct. Right, if there's not two centimeters of clearance, which there isn't in this case, the book says... That... Okay, Lynn, first of all, forget about the book. Tell me, what do I have to be worried about? Postpartum hemorrhage, the mother bleeding out. Good. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do to prevent that. I'm going to sneak in beside this pesky placenta, and I'm going to gently dilate the inner uterine segment. Then I'm going to use the baby's head to tamponade the oozing placenta. Wait, you're 
planning on using the baby's head to control the bleeding vessels. That's right. But don't look too carefully, because you're not going to find it in the book. Any questions? Good. I got to grab something from my office. Scrub up, Maggie. You having fun yet? Yeah. OK. Give me a little push, Sarah. Breathe, breathe. You breathe. Sorry, sorry, I love you. You're doing great. I can feel the vertex of the head. You can see the head? Is he a ginger? You say that with such disdain. I just want to be prepared. <laughs> All right, guys, it's showtime. All right, here we go. Everything OK? The head's deflexed. I can't flex it because of the placenta. Hey, what does that mean? Is the baby OK? Shall we prep her for a section? Yes. Do whatever you need to do. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I just want the baby to be safe. Jason? <laughs> Not just yet, sweetheart. I'm going to call an audible in the play. All right, we're going to try and do an internal uterine extraction. Okay, what does that mean? Right, I'm going to try and flip the baby around in her tummy, and I'm going to grab it by the foot, deliver it as a double footling breach, OK? I think the patient has changed her mind. Oh, Lynn, obstetrics is like jazz. It only gets interesting when you start to improvise. OK, here we go. Yeah. Oh. You're doing great. You're doing great. Oh. All right, I've got the foot. Oh. You're doing great. You're doing great. Oh. You're doing great. Oh. Now, I'm going to need lots of pressure from above, OK, Lynn? Super pubic, please. OK. All right, Sarah, now you're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Is the baby OK? <laughs> Heart rate's perfectly fine. I can see his feet, and they're very cute. <laughs> oh, my god. Okay, I just need to find his mouth. So, what are you going to do with his mouth? <laughs> oh, my middle finger is going to be his first pacifier. Dr. Kalfas is going to flex the head to create a smaller diameter to the birth canal. Okay. Need lots of pressure. As much as I'm giving you internally, you're going to give me externally. Okay? okay. Sarah, here we go. Okay, we're going to do this all together. Come on now. One, two, three. All right, Dad. Oh, Would you like to cut your son free? <laughs> he looks healthy. The nurse is just going to clean him up, and then he's all yours. <laughs> you did so well. a minute and then come back for the placenta, OK? Thank you. Look what you did. <laughs> Are you a papa bee? Hey. Look at you. Dr. Kalf has asked me to deliver the placenta. Uh, you, you don't okay. have to do any crazy jujitsu flips mm -hmm. like you did with this guy, do you? No, mm -hmm. none of that. So are we going to go with Sam? I think. You? Does he look like a Sam to you? He does, yeah. He totally looks like an old Jewish guy already. <laughs> the placenta, it's stuck. What do you mean it's stuck? It must be an accreta. What does that mean? Your placenta is embedded in the uterine muscle. It's not separating. Oh, gosh. Can you get Dr. Kalfas? I don't feel great. Ben, can you take her hand? Sarah, take some deep <sighs> breaths okay. for me. <clears throat> she gonna be OK? Yes, it's just an unexpected complication. It's not picking up. I'm sorry, I think I might faint. Dr. Lynn. She's losing blood. What is going on? Ben, I need you to take the baby. Dr. Lynn? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's What's it's happening okay. to me? Dr. Lynn. We need to get her to an OR now. We've got the baby man, Dr. Jason Kalfas. I'm not in right now, but please leave your... Have you seen Dr. Kalfas? Yeah, he's in the washroom. Jason, I can see you. Thank you. What are you doing here? It's our patient, Sarah Collins. Who? The patient. Your patient. She's placenta accreta. Oh. She's being rushed into the OR. OK. OK. All right. Just let me finish my business, OK? OK. Hurry. OK, 
Okay, here's the thing. 